but game three, hopefully we can get this done fast as we've got a set in 45 minutes. Um, so I'm going to start inviting everybody in here. This set does not disappoint. I should invite him already. No, okay. I agree. I think, I think third and fifth game should be on Nexus Blitz. Let's see. Uh, I'm looking through my list of music, seeing what we should do. The hard part even is like we don't actually have like a proper intermission between games. So like when am I actually going to play this music? I don't want to just sit here like mute my mic and just like play music because that just seems really boring. <laughs> oh fuck. It is burning up in my room right now. My computer You want to you want to you want my Spotify playlist that goes from like goes from like Crown the Empire to like ELO and then we go into like Magic and like One Republic and then like back into like post hardcore Got a little bit of my chemical romance on there. I could play some uh, Metroid Metal. That's I like that. I use them a lot for a top five though, so that could get kind of old. But <laughs> hey, you want you want the elevator music? All right, I'll, I'll bring out the elevator music. So we used to kind of play that in pauses and intermissions. Um, actually, I, I probably I'll have riots if I need that. Let me bring it back and just turn it down while I talk. So we used to play that during like pauses and intermissions, but like we actually had a few people that watched the stream that like got so sick of it because we had like one pause that was like 20 minutes long, and this was like literally a, an hour long loop. Um, and so I don't know. It, it got really old last season when we used to play this all the time, but I'll, I'll bring it up every now and then.
My favorite thing with Silver Scrapes was when Mark Z did the uh, verbal impression of it. That was that was like the moment that just solidified Silver Scrapes in my mind. I was like, yep, this is here to stay. I don't know. I mean, I've I've got some cool music that we could play. Like I, I'm a fan of. Uh, let me. I don't know how loud this is gonna be. I'm a fan of this song. If it plays here. It says lobby is full. Okay, you're back. Oh, it's not playing for some reason. Oh well. Um. Yeah. Someone ha needs to drop down. S someone drop out. So maniac can join. All right, go and join. All right, thank you. I got to put the All right. I'm ready. Okay. Um, okay so I'm go. All right. We are back alive, boys. Yeah. Match not, point, not a, right? Not, yeah, match point. Game three, match point. There's not a happy baby in the background. Um... <laughs> Oh no, she's she's a, she's she's a, she's very happy. Oh, that's those are the happy. It's so hard to tell the happy screams from the angry screams. Like, what's the difference? Like, how am I supposed? I guess besides the face, but sometimes you see a baby that like looks really happy and see is actually not... just really mad. <laughs> Octane band out. That's Yo and Prison both playing that champion to good results. Yeah, kind of seems like the. Uh... The factor that wins games. Tristana's losing them, and Nocturne's winning them. Um, but Aurelia, Aurelia being banned. taken away as well. Yep, start throwing more bands at 15. You stopped doing it. Now you gotta start again. Do you want to ban out the Morgana now? Uh, Hoppy. I think a Morg ban would be smart. I don't know if they really need it, because assuming Ari doesn't get banned, I think they can just grab the Ari again. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, I oh I can't wait for the DLV game, dude. Yeah, this is gonna be a good set to watch. Definitely can't wait. Twitch being taken away from Awu again. Just kind of been popping off on the champions, so take it away. Try to get him back onto something like the Tristana Shen, though wisely. Band away from Na Yunjing as well. Really good band phase coming out from TPR. We'll see. Quite a different pick band from both teams, I think, this time. Bard oh, made Bard. his way through. <laughs> slash Andy yeah, first picks it. Let's go. All right. That does mean Zaya for Awu. Potentially a Morgana takeaway as well. Unless they want to couple that with Rakan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you did it, Andy. You did it. <laughs> Gotta be picked up. The lover's bot lane. Yeah. It's them. It's <sighs> Potential Vi pickup for Ezio. Would definitely be interesting. Don't see a whole lot of Vi's. Um, could be a really strong pick, though. He is going to lock it in. Again, just a very strong, like, level 6 ganker. Um... Uh, Couple with a gin. Bard and a Jin. Yeah, this this is gonna be a fun game. I think this is gonna be the the best game of the three. Are there any Teemo players in this league? Thank the heavens there are not. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's Garen players, but we can thank. Oh God. Yeah, we got Garen players out the, we got the wazoo. Fizz players. We got Fizz players. I I'm sorry, but Fizz is my most hated champion in the game. You hate Fizz more than you hate like. I or I don't know. Do you do you like Yasuo? 
I am willing to stand against a Yasuo. Okay. I think Yasuo and Fiora are my least favorite champions. I hate Fizz because as soon as you hit level 2, he's able to burst you down. Yeah. And he has an invul. His ult is so strong. Like, my problem so with many. Fizz isn't what any of his moves like do as a basis. It's what they do beyond what they should do. Like Fizz's E shouldn't be escape, an engage, and his wave clear. Um, right? And I hate the fact that it's all like such a short cooldown to where their window for punishing him is actually pretty small. Like, there's a few good matchups into Fez, said being one of them. Um, yeah. But... I just don't like... I I like Fizz more than most, but he's definitely can be annoying. But I'd rather fa face a Fizz than a Fiora any day. Jace picked up four Sonic Abs. That's going to be really interesting. Let's see what they pick in response to that. Lissandra picked up for Business Trooper. I heard that they. I heard that this is scary. Yeah, he's been talking about it. Um, he likes the champion, and going up against a Fizz should be all right. Because if he gets hit by the the shark, like he really just has to ult himself. Um, yeah, and, and he'll he can be stop all of his mobility. Yep. With... yep. And what Steve are they gonna grab? Nayunjin grabbing the singed. This is gonna be a fun one. Yep. Possible Zack pick up for Prism. Makes sense why they banned away the Poppy if they're going for that. Lots of engage. The hard part is it's all engage. There's no peel. Um, mm -hmm. So in terms um, of. There's quite a bit of disengage on BTC. Yeah. Bard can do an okay amount. Lissandra can do a good amount too. Singe's gonna. Hopefully not flip people into his team. Well, I mean, you want to flip the Zaya in there. Yeah, if you can get to her. But chances are that'll be a little hard because Singe runs at people and Zaya loves that. Running simulator. Uh, I kind of hope to see Beekeeper Singed. I really like that skin. It's not a bad skin. Yeah. You know, Lissandra needs a new skin. I honestly think she needs a new skin. Um, she could no, use one. Zack needs a new skin. Zack hasn't got one since SKT, but I'm always down for a new Zack skin. I really want Molten Zack to be a thing. Like, that would be really cool. Like, it's just like this flowing thing of lava. You get, like, just magma chunks flying off of him. Yeah, that'd be sick. What's another champion that needs a skin? Uh, uh, let's see. I feel like Orin needs a new one. I know he's pretty new, but I feel like Orin could use a another skin already. Yeah, I mean, if you look at Orin, like he came out after. Did he come up? Yeah, he came out before Zoe. And Zoe already has pool party. Yeah, yeah. I think Orin Orin came out last year, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. I weren't spent out for almost a year now. I would definitely like that. Um, hey guys, Zyre and Rakan have gotten so many new skins. Kled, ah. Right. I want to see more Kled, damn it. <laughs> I don't really care too much about Kled personally. I find him to be a boring champion. How? Right, well, what should we do for our bet, though? Um. Hmm. Let's do, uh. First Blood? Either First Blood or Game Time. Um, let's do Game Time. Okay. Uh, let's do like 35 minutes. I'm thinking. 30 minutes, I think it's decent Game Time. Yeah. And if we follow the same trend, that's about where we should end up. Because at first it was 45, then it was 40. Oops. In your opinion, whose comp do you like better? Um, honestly, both comps just kind of seem like a hobbled lump of champions, right? Like, 
TPRs is like super engage heavy, but like if Zach misses or Rakan doesn't land onto multiple people, it's going to be a little bit weird for them. And that's where I think Battlecast can really turn it around. So it's it's very um, execution based. Mm -hmm. I do have faith in TPR executing well, though. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely possible. They they can definitely execute well if they put their mind to it. Mm -hmm. And Zyra Khan being a good bot lane together still. Right. I don't think they'll ever be a bad bot lane just because their, their ability sy synergy... It's it's gonna take a lot for them to become a bad bot lane for sure. Ooh, champ, bet an under. Okay. You bet all under. You bet thirteen twenty on under. Um, Bliss needs amp roll by the way. Oh. Let me let me ask Nazumi to ask if that's okay. Oh, they're not matching his skins. Yeah, that's an instant game loser. All right, boys, pack it up. <laughs> pack it up, BTC21. You know, I saw Jin yesterday run um, Lethal Tempo. Um, I, I still think Halo Blades is better. It's it's got the same idea as Halo Blades, but not quite as um quick. Right, Be because again, like you're getting all that movement speed from it, and that's that's kind of the point. Oh, not movement speed, all the attack speed from it, which gives you a ton of the attack damage and movement speed, I believe. Um, which yeah, I mean, okay, Jin kind of wants that, but the problem is because it takes a second and a half um, to pop up, and it's got. I think it's got a longer cooldown. I'm not sure what the cooldown is on it. Um, it's definitely not as functional as Halo Blades because Halo Blades is up every four seconds, right? It was like, oh, cool. I can do this like whenever I want. And it immediately procs. So. Yep. And Lethal Tempo will proc on any damage you do them, which means if you maybe don't want it to be proc, it'll proc randomly. Whereas Halo Blades only procs on auto attacks. Yeah, I found that annoying when I try when because I use it on Twitch. I use Lethal Tempo on Twitch. Um, probably a bad idea, but maybe that's why I am not high rank when I play Twitch. Um, but I run it, and then it's just like it procs off of your your point your passive poison. I'm just like, God, damn it! Right. I missed my chance last game because Zach is blue. I can't do the. Impression this game. Yeah. Oh well. What they say? Oh, so I just wants a friendly dance. Why did someone invite me? Oh yeah, hammer time. What the fuck? So I actually recently put uh. Can't touch this on my Spotify playlist. I was like, you know, that song's a classic and it's pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that on my playlist. <laughs> Don't regret it. That song is fantastic. No, oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, I'm sorry, but oh, you're good. <laughs> I have to do something. Oh, that's okay. I can take the reins here. Yeah, because I think my account just got hacked. That's not good. Your league account? Yeah. I right, did it log you out? Yeah. That's not good. Oh. They've been taking a lot of poke. This is, yeah, this is why you don't give Andy Bard. Because he's already in control of the lane. Doing quite a bit. Of work Bye. down there. I'm gonna reset my password real quick. Yeah, yeah, that's Bye. that's fine. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. 
Sonic trying to trade on the Nayun. I don't think this gen pick is really going to be that great into the, the Singed. Um, if he pokes well, he can do all right, but it's really dangerous because of how short range he is. Uh, Singed can really just run up on him. So, definitely not going to be the most advantageous lane. <laughs> well, mid lane is just getting an okay trade on to 15. Going pretty even there. Once he gets 6, um, he can really start looking to kind of pressure this down. Ignite's already on. Going to use the claw to try and get forward, but doesn't get the last hit. So now you roams down as well. No flash on the Fizz means pretty much no chance for him to play too aggressive. He does need to be careful because Business Trooper still has flash. Um, and once he gets this free spell cast, I actually can probably take down the Fizz. We'll see if he can do it though. Not gonna try, it looks like. So, kind of lanes again. Just gonna go back to trading. Oh, not falling that far behind in terms of CS. Not as far as he has been in the last couple games, which is definitely gonna bode well for him. And he's also on a pretty good champion. We do see an engage on to slash Annie, though. Actually, flashes away. Doesn't want to get hit by the blade caller. The deadly flourish, not gonna land a root. All right, I, I fixed. I got everything sorted out. All right, cool. Welcome back, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I was panicking a little bit because I got hacked because I accepted a random ass friend request. So I was just like, "What the fuck is this?" Mm. I was just like, "Oh shit." <laughs> uh, I keep. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, you're good. The less attention you bring to it, the better. <laughs> All right. 15's really low here. Yeah, he's been taking. A lot of poke from Business Trooper, and he just doesn't have a way to get back into lane. Sonic doing a good amount of damage to Nayun Jin, but not going to be able to finish off the kill quite yet. Yeah. I'll have to see if Nayun goes for that uh, Dark Seal build that he normally goes for. I feel like a little bit of early armor could really help, especially in these kind of scenarios. Oh no, Fizz landed that, he actually would have gotten the kill. He does need to be careful, though, actually, going to get engaged on by the Fizz. Ignite's already out, but Ezio burns Flash and didn't even land the Q. That's definitely rough. How about landing on fire, taking a little bit of damage, trading a little bit back. Should actually be fine with that Bard heal. Does need to be careful though. Flash is away from the Zac. Meanwhile, Fish in the mid lane. 15 actually going to be able to get the first blood. Now Abu trying to run away. Lots of damage coming out from PPR. It's all just going to be convenient trading back and forth. But still first blood to the Fizz. Ooh, if that had, I think he would have died. It would have been pretty close. And without any attack damage, I don't think he would have done it quite yet. But it would have been pretty dangerous. Yeah, lots of damage. Yeah. Ooh, that Q not hitting. Yeah, that's really rough. But it's a, a lot happening at once for very little to actually come of it. Yeah. Uh, but that fish just getting larger with the radius. Yeah, I'm actually really surprised I killed. That did a lot of damage. A lot more than I thought it would. Um, yeah, I think it was like max length. It was definitely something. and Kind of amazed actually that he even managed to stay around in that lane with no health for so long. And, and not up, die. Ends up picking up the kill. Yeah, the first blood even. Yep. Now he's in a little bit of a rough spot. The ultimate's out from Lissandra, and he doesn't have a flash. He does try and get away, but I'm pretty sure he's going to fall. TSM Ezio picks up the kill. 
That is going to be really good for Business Trooper. Able to shove out two full that. waves, essentially. Mm -hmm. I remember the one thing I feared um, about Battlecast was the Fires Gen. Because I saw it once, and I think he got like a quadra kill. And I was just like, jeez. Yeah, his... His gin's really scary. A lot of people in this league have really good gin. It's really weird. Like, Neon and King D are really the, the two that come to mind. Yeah. The old, the old sub ADC for blue, uh, Pogma, yeah. or Quicksilver, he changes his name like every week. Yeah. Um, he ref he hates gin. Like, he, he hates to play him, he hates to face him. Does he just refuse to play it? He doesn't refuse to, he just finds it really boring and uninteresting. I like Jin. I think he's one of the more interesting AD carries, personally. Yeah. Definitely Ooh, hang champion. on. That was a really nice ult there from Bard. Lands the stun into the wall as well, and a fourth shot. Gonna kill him, Ravencrow shield. Not enough. Really a oh. good job there. That's what I like about Jin. That fourth shot is so satisfying. Ooh. Yeah, we do see a fight coming down. Current goal is going to be used. Health bars are super low for TPR. Vi does not have ult, but I don't think she's going to need to use it. <laughs> so, oh, he tries to tank it for him, but it just lines him up for a stun. And Battlecast now at a 2.3k gold lead. Going to be popping off. Quite unfortunate there. Definitely. Not a fantastic situation. TPR with this comp kind of wanting to get in a, a pretty early lead. Definitely not going to be able to do it though as Awu walks back in the lane and immediately dies. This should be first tower going down to Battlecast in the bot lane. Sonic Abs trying to run away from Na Jin as well, but he's not going to get out without losing his flash. Singe is really annoying to face. And you can't forget the first rule of League. You can't chase Singe. Yeah. Yeah, and that's going to put him in a real bad spot. Doesn't have TP to try to get back to his lane, which means Singe is going to catch more CS, get good damage onto the tower. Battlecast just kind of across the map, really taking over this game at a 4k gold lead already. Mm Hmm. Lissandra so, the first item. Protobelt? Protobelt. Really weird. Yeah. If you want to one one meme that I love that I really wish they would actually do? Hmm. They did Baker Pantheon, right? Yeah. Where is the Star Guardian Urga? I don't want it. I don't like it. No. Even, even if you didn't know, Nunabot actually has a voice line that references it. Yeah. It says, I I don't know. I, I just I don't want it. It's that's too terrifying. Terrifying for me, right? Like <laughs> Star Guardian Garen. <laughs> I like the Star Guardian skins being like hello weeb, like actually like within their line. I don't really want them to like step out of their actual like Star Guardian kind of genre, even if it would be funny. Hey. They like where it's at. Fizz walking back up. Gonna get hit by the glacial prison. Or is that tomb? That's tomb. Glacial prison is Sijuani. Yeah. Who do you think should get the next Star Guardian skin? Um. Yes, Frozen Tomb. My bad. Uh, next Star Guardian skin. That should go to... I don't know. I think it'd be... Leon and Diana. Zoe? I mean, Zoe doesn't need a new skin, but it would make a lot of sense to get everyone. Yeah, she could get one. I think Leo and Diana. Yeah. And then they... They usually give them to a few people at a time. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tarek, just to match with Ezreal. Yeah. Probably he not. He already but... has a move called Cosmic Radiance, so like... That one might actually make... that one. See, that one makes a little bit more sense than Urgot in terms of like actually... Fitting yeah. in with the line it's supposed to. Yeah. How do you feel about like 
the love square for Ezreal. Like, so we... Lux, I don't... Like, Lux is one that, like, people say a lot, but then they're just, like, it's always not, like, something. It's, like, a forbidden love thing. Then there's Tarek. I don't really... Oh, Prism dc I don't really, uh... Follow a whole lot of that stuff. I like the lore, but the kind of the the interpersonal stuff between characters, I don't really follow at all. Sonic, gonna be falling down. Nanjing Jing with the solo kill, and then there's the pause. There's the pause. Just had to wait till they're out of combat. Yeah. At least it wasn't Prism that died. <laughs> yeah. Even if he had paused in the middle, of that I I don't think he would have been able to get away. So. Yeah. Might as well just, well, I'll just take the death real fast, then we can pause. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm stuck on it, so I keep hearing the singed alt sound effect. Oh, God. All right, hold on. We're paused. People <laughs> people wanted me to play elevated music during pauses. So let's get that rolling real fast. We can talk still. All right. It's just a nice kind of background noise. Yeah, that's good. As we're going if Orin got a new skin, what would you want to see? That is really hard because, like, Orin, you want to keep it kind of on his theme. Mm -hmm. And we don't want another Mecha skin so soon with Mecha Aatrox being recent. I uh, know that one's came out a, a long time ago. Mecha H? No, no, I meant Mecha Soul. Oh, A Soul? Yeah. yeah. Um, Void, Void Orn? Yeah, that would be pretty nifty. Void Orn would be, would be cool. Mm -hmm. Calls, like, this giant, like, Void Beast instead of, like, a, the Ram. That'd be awesome. <laughs> uh, Tits is no more. He's going off to the army. So, he is not gonna be with us for the rest of the season. Yep. Sadly. So, I've got... I'm running casting tryouts today. I've got Maniac right now. Um, probably pulling in DHJ next set. I'm just going to be trying out people, seeing who I like casting with. Yeah. There's a little bug there. Hmm? Uh, on the spectating thing, if the game is paused, the cooldowns still run on the target. Oh, yeah. it'll. It kind of just shows them. and Yeah. It, it's definitely weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Void Orn would definitely be cool. I'm trying to think what else would be really cool for Orn. Um, what other skin set would be cool for him? So, I, don't I don't know. They could probably do like Pool Party Orn. Santa Orn. Santa Orn. Big Slay comes through. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. I don't think he would have a good Halloween skin. No, probably not. Because, like, I think the best they could do with the Halloween orange skin would have the alt a giant pumpkin. Yeah, it wouldn't really be a very fun skin. Yeah. Um... What if he gets the victory? Who, honestly, in your opinion, who do you who do you want to have the victorious skin this year? Uh, that's a really hard one. Who even got it last year? Graves. Last year was Graves. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of like who's been influential enough this year. It'll probably be Aurelia. Um, they won't do it because they can't have have gotten skins recently. Um. I think they tried a general guideline to that, but I don't think they stick hard to that. We'll, we'll never know. Yeah, it could be Kaiza as well. Mm -hmm. Cause, yeah, Sivir got Victoria Sivir like what season four? It's been a, it's been I don't a while. I don't have any. Victoria or no, was season. that? I think season four might have been Malkai. No, we're in season. What season are we in again? We're in season eight, so it's been like last, three or four so last seasons. Year, since we got last year was three. Graves, and before Graves it was Maokai. Was Maokai only two seasons ago? It felt yeah. so much longer. Jesus, okay. Okay, well, time to look up the Victoria skins then. I know Morgana has one. I don't know if Tri 
Triumphant Rise isn't one, is it? No, that's that's a skin that you get for playing in tournaments that are Riot sanctioned. All right, so J4, Janna, Elise, Morg, Sivir, Maokai, Graves, which means it probably will be another support. Um, if you keep with like three years in between, giving it to junglers and stuff, so it'll probably be. I could see it being a support this year, but I don't know which one it would go to. Janna. Yeah, <laughs> she hasn't been played enough. I know, I'm joking. No. Uh. And I would hope it wouldn't be another, like, Rakan and Zaya skin. Ugh. No Zyra. I don't want Zyra. No. It could be Braum or Tom Kench. No, it can't be like Braum. It... I, well, if you follow the guidelines. Right. I don't know. I... My bet's on... Either Kaiza or Irelia, or yeah, those are those are my two bets. This is a long pause. Because mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think they've ever just given it to a mid laner, actually, have they? Yeah, they have not given it to a mid laner yet. It'll it'll be a mid laner, I feel. Yeah, maybe, maybe Syndra. Hasn't seen a whole lot of play either, though. It's got it. It has to have been meta, very strong in the meta, like prevalent for a while. Which is why I think Aurelia, because she got reworked and it's just like hard popping off for a long time. Who else though? Mid lane. Um, They're not I don't think they Ziggs. Um, Let's see. Oh, we're getting Swain. back into it. It could be Swain. Swain could definitely... Yeah, I could see it going to Swain. I would hope not Zoe. I hope not either. Yeah. Because Swain's still in the meta right now. Yeah. It could definitely go to Swain, actually. I'd Swain be happy is. with the Swain one. I'd, I'd grind out to go... I'm going to turn that up, because that was way too quiet. Um, Yeah, I wouldn't mind Swain. I think Swain would actually be a really good choice. This turret's gonna go down. For top tier turret's gonna go down here. Yeah, it should be going down now. As Neon steps forward just a little bit too much for us to flash away, but now Andy wants to get a stun off. He actually gets a double stun off onto both of them. He uses his ult, but it's gonna be dodged away. Now current call being used. Is we gonna be able to Dodge these. Ooh, almost steps right back into that one. One more is all he needs, but it's gonna go wide. Ooh. So close. Yep. Like all of my Swain ease. Uh -huh. So far. <laughs> so close. Yet so far. Yeah, game's definitely at a solid pace for Battlecast. Vi, first item. Duskblade. Wow. Thoughts? Concerns? I'm concerned. <laughs> I think this is going to be an assassin buy. I would hope so. If it's not an assassin buy. Oh my god, he almost stole that. I was going to say, if he stole that, uh, he gets MVP off the bat. <laughs> yeah, 15 though, in a little bit of trouble. Lissandra ult's coming out, and... The goo means he's going to fall down. Super adhesive. Pretty strong. Vi going for an engage on to the Jace. He's going to be able to fall forward with his ult as well. Battlecast 10 and 1 right now. Playing at an incredible pace. How many of them are on like super comfort picks? Um, I know Business Trooper is. Business Trooper, Nayung, and Neon. And Andy. Four. I don't know about SEO. But they, they basically got their comp. I'd have to look up Ezio, but they're going to keep snowballing this lead. Super failed. Going to help him take down mid tower. I feel like this game isn't going to go over 35 minutes. Um, That's going right now. No, not at this pace. Not at this pace at all. TPR going to have to play really slow. 
really carefully with the kind of comp and advantage that Battlecast has right now. Oy. Not looking good. Yeah, 8k gold lead at 16 minutes. Right, like coming back from this is really hard, especially since they don't have like a t tank top lane or anything. The Jace not really paying off. Sure. Raviolis, Grandma? So they're gonna try and do what they can. Being down three, four turrets actually, sorry. Four turrets though. Gonna make it really hard. As soon as they're already finishing up the Registrar, it means the go button is there between him and Vi. There's pretty much no escaping. They've got the Bard to try and cut off their escape. And they're just going to slowly weed out any chance for TPR to come into this. More farming, more farming. Kind of the name of the game right now for TPR. Just don't walk up for a fight. Take what you can. Get your jungle. Make sure the enemy team can't get both jungles. It's going to be kind of hard. I don't even know if they actually want to go for a gank onto Singed right now. He's just going to run. Yeah. Definitely. No way that they can really chase him down and actually kill him fast enough. Jace not having a finish item is going to really hurt. I mean, at this point in the game, you want him to have the Dust Blade or uh, Yumu's finished. That's not not going to happen anytime soon. Raven is in a little bit of trouble. Andy going forward. Deadly Flourish does land onto Raven Crow, but he actually manages to get the quickness off onto Neon, which means he should be falling down to Fizz. Shut down gold for him. Now Andy going to try and run through the wall. Should be able to get away. No, he doesn't. Actually, 15 gets a kill for himself. Now needs to run from Na Yoon Jing as he was, tries to get over the wall. He does get there. Maybe looking for a re-engage now that Jace and Zach have shown up as well. Business Trooper gets knocked up. Not able to get his ult off at all. Na Yoon Jing getting hit by Chilling Smite. But nice job there from TPR. Picking up three kills. Still 8k down though. Definitely not in a good spot. Prism's going to keep farming. Um, I'm not really sure what he's going to build for first. Zach's builds are always kind of strange. I like going war mugs first. Even after the nerfs, I find you generally only about literally like 20, 30 health short from the NF3000 times you get war mug. Um, and that's really dependent on what your level is. So I feel like he could get away with the mugs. Looks like that's probably what he's going to be going for as well with those items. I mean, loss of sustain is good for Zach, considering he already has his pa passive. I don't think the passive really heals that much, but... It can heal an okay amount, but the, the hard part is he's also killing himself with it. So, like, it seems like it's more healing than it really is, because he's actually just hurting himself almost an equal amount. Um, Jace, though, in a rough spot. Bartle coming through, but he mistimes his Q. Still gets the kill. See Andy do that a lot, where like he lands a really good ult, and he just like way whiffs his Q. So it's like that was like a second early, dude. <laughs> Feels bad. Yep, we do see 15 though, trying to get onto 15. That was a four-man ult. So much damage coming from the Fizz. Now the fight from TPR is looking in their favor. Awu in a little bit of a rough spot though. His business trooper actually manages to pick up a double kill. Almost able to get a third. One more auto. Gets the triple kill on Lissandra. As OG Prism trying to get something if he can. Let's bounce. Finally used, but it just not going to do enough. Battle cast. 
lose the fight at first, but able to slowly turn it around. Sonic Abs oh, there's the TP. uses the TP to save the blob. Now he looks for the re-engage as the Shock Blast comes through. There goes one kill. Chasing forward, trying to get Nanyun Jin, but he's walking on poison right now. Yumu's helping him catch up. Is he able to get it? He does get flipped away. Uses his E, and he should be able to pick up a kill here. <laughs> that was one hell of a background fight from TPR. It just went in and then Sonic with the TP and yeah that was just went on and on yeah and it goes on and on and on yep still a 7k gold lead for Battlecast though right like TPR doing good in these fights going almost even in most of them just haven't been able to Really get a clean fight and get anything off of it. Yeah. Imagine if they had equal items there. I feel like it would have been insanely good for TPR. Yeah. Yep. If they're able to get to a situation where Zaya has three items, they should be pretty good off in this game. Battlecast have not quite been able to advance this lead the the way they've been trying. Fifteen chasing through the jungle. Warmogs has been finished with the Zach. Uh, that's going to help him out quite a bit. He does have three K health, so he's going to be just fine. With that, next up, probably gonna want. It's really hard. There's so much like the gold for Battlecast is so split, so it's really hard to say what to build next. At that point, I would say probably just go for a stone plate because then you get resistances for both, and it technically doubles your health for uh, three or four seconds. So I'd say stone plate would be a good choice here. If not that, probably just go for a visage, get the extra healing, um, and stop a lot of damage coming out from Lissandra and Singe. But. Another Drake going over to Battlecast. That's three Drakes. Three Drakes. Infernal, Ocean, and Mountain. Yep. Looking like they want to get the Drake Trifecta as Prism. Oh, they already did get a Trifecta of it, but Prism steps a little bit too far forward. Gonna get ran at by Nayun Jin. He goes down. Honestly, Battlecast could go to Baron right now. I don't know why they're really shoving. This should be a free trade. I mean, free Baron. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you do. I need another Coke. I don't have any. I'm sorry. I've got one in the fridge. I just need to get up and grab it. Or the ice cream truck could come by five hours early. That'd be cool, too. Five hours early? Yeah, he comes by at like 7 p.m. every night. Jeez. That's pretty late. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that was really close. 15. Forced to run now, though, as Business Trooper shows up. That fish. Uh, I mean, he stopped the recall, I think was the plan. Um, yeah, 15 Ooh, in a little bit of trouble. Neon Fire doing a lot. Really well-timed Deadly Flourish forces a flash out of Fizz. A lot of damage by the Jin. He does have Rapid Fire and Storm Razor. Yeah, and getting close to that IE as well. He's gonna be popping off so much. Yeah, Jin with uh, Rapid or not Rapid Fire, uh, Storm Razor is like one of the scariest things ever. Like that item was literally made for him. Yeah, I think I only know one person who is better with it than him. Who would that be? The one and only person who can out damage him early. <laughs> Draven? 
Yeah. Yeah, Draven definitely enjoys it. So does Quinn. There's a, there's a few. I feel like it, it just... Draven likes it because Draven just does a lot of damage. Jin likes it because it synergizes with his kit, like, so much. Battle cast on the Baron. Is Prism going to be able to get in? He does find his way in, and he actually steals the Baron. Gets the smite off. Is he going to be able to get away as well? Flashes. Doesn't channel the Let's Bounce, though. So he's going to go into his blob. Are we going to see a full fight? TPR looks like they want to try and help him, but they're not going to. If they get the Baron at least. Really good job from Prism. We're going to see another smite come out. Or another pause, not smite. Yeah. All right. I'll check chat. Let's get some elevator music back up in here. Did, okay, let's see. Did the bug let him steal Baron? Did what? what we, the bug let him steal Baron. I think he's having issues again. What bug? Um. Oh, no. Sonic had to do something. Oh, okay. Elevator music. Woo! Why don't you just play the Jeopardy theme song? <laughs> eh, it's elevator music. This is like some chill music right here. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna go grab a Coke real fast. So, not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> How you doing Twitch chat? Hope y'all are alright. to grab a coke but i grabbed another donut <laughs> go grab your coke you say what did you just say you grabbed your coke i said i grabbed a coke and a donut oh good time good time good time yeah i have to mute here soon yep yep because hey, no, so I'll well change diaper and the diaper change station is right next to me. Mm. Great. definitely in a weird spot that baron steel is really going to help tpr try and take this game back um because they they needed something so having baron battle cast not having baron more specifically is going to help out quite a bit in terms of not losing this right away They're just going to have to wave clear, defend, and the Zach's dead. They should be fine. Hopefully, they come back soon. Because, I mean, TPR only has five more minutes of pause. Because the first pause was them, too, I think, right? That was Prism DC. Honestly, I, I kind of want to see TPR be able to win this. I like a good comeback story. Yeah, that would be pretty interesting to see. But, you know, you never know what's going to happen. 
You never know if someone's gonna make a huge mess up. You never know if someone's gonna make a huge play. Never know. Yeah, I feel bad for the uh, for all the passes though, because like there's another game that was supposed to start like seven minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Which, um, I, it, for all of you that hate my voice, I probably won't be casting at that one. Because he's, he's, he's testing a lot of other people too. So, you'll be able to have a not so annoying voice as the other caster. <laughs> doing yeah I don't know um oh seems you're about ready to start okay sweet they've still got like two and a half minutes of pause time then they're all running real low <laughs> yeah doesn't go on much longer. Not sure, just You can help. Up, oh, it's being resumed. Yep, we're back in here. Let me turn off the elevator music. Back to normal for the time being. <laughs> Don't jinx anything now. <laughs> yeah, battle cast going to try and get control of the lanes again. Going up against Baron definitely can't make any kind of big push, even with Prism being dead. Um, so they're just going to play the map game. This is kind of when TPR might look to try and get a first tower. Because being down four towers, not that great. No, what you'd prefer? What, but not the position that you'd prefer to be in. No. Never have I been down four towers and been. I think this is exactly where I want to be. <laughs> Same. You know, in the spirit of Aurelia not being stupid anymore, they should make a new champion that uh gets new gets more attack damage um based on how far down they are gold wise <laughs> that'd be interesting so like a one to one ratio or like for every gold they're down, they're down they get one attack damage <laughs> uh i mean that kind of would that would probably bring out a lot of afk players be honest that's the only issue i could see yeah. Probably a lot of people at AFK. Pretty much. That's a really nice ultimate from the Bard. Gonna be able to get onto two. So much damage. Rakan's already down. Abu, though, able to throw one around onto the Bard. some Ezio into the back line. Doing a lot of damage at 15 Virgin. Able to kite away. It's been a two for two so far. And there's so much damage coming out. Another triple kill for Business Trooper. Sonic is the last one alive. Gonna be running so cool. Scary, this Jin chasing him down, able to get the shutdown kill. That's an ace for Battle Cash. Should be able to push up and get an inhib at least. Maybe a Nexus turret. That was a really good fight by them. Yeah. Jin is able to slide into the back line there. You know, slid in through. Just oh, it looks like they're going for the for Drake's. 
That, oh, it's gonna be another Infernal too. Yeah, that's <laughs> gonna help them steamroll this even more. Mm -hmm. For sure. Getting four dragons, and I think they got it soon enough. Oh no, oh, Elder is gonna spawn before the next Drake. That's unfortunate. But still, four, four stack Elder, if it gets to that point, gonna be really scary. Um, and still. Especially with two Infernals. Yeah. They're just gonna absolutely melt Baron and Elder and Towers. Yeah, the, it's not looking good for TPR. A lot of the fights all. have gotten close, but they just haven't been able to keep Bluted alive for, sorry, Awu. Um, That's gonna come through Vi has Triforce. Looking pretty scary, can one shot even stronger now. Mm-hmm. Jin getting having that IE. What's he going for now? Um he's probably going for a GA? GA, I would assume. It's the only thing that really makes sense. Cause it's not like he'd want to go, um, like Essence Reaver. I cannot improve the odds of slots. Taking out the emotes will not improve the odds of slots. It'll just give you the same two more times, right? If the odds are 50%, it doesn't matter how many are in there. We're going to see a fight, though. Sonic Abs gets burst down quite fast. It's a really nice combo, but the ultimate from Bard going to stall out a lot of damage. Awu, though, doing quite a bit, but the health bars are just too low. Nice blade caller. Not going to be able to finish off a kill, though. That was a really nice sack call. Yeah. Still lost the fight, though, TPR. I think Bell Pass Bell, Bell Cast is gonna be able to get this top turret for sure. I uh I don't think they have the, the damage really. Oh yeah, only Singed and Barter up there and Zach falling off the wave. Yeah. Definitely would have been a little scary. Zach did end up going for the Visage, like um definitely need some armor now, probably get like a uh, Randuins I think would be good at this point. Or again, stone plate. Pretty useful as well. <laughs> no, Jin's probably going for B team, not GA. Oh, that's really interesting. I don't know how much I like that. I mean, he's he heals a lot from his last shot, but GA. But if you get bursted down, bleed, the only thing BT is is going to just stop you from slightly getting bursted. Yeah. But even I think Fizz is still going to be able to burst him down really quickly. Right. I'd rather have a second life than heal up a little bit if I'm not CC'd the whole time. Mm -hmm. Setting up for Baron. Yeah, they're going to try and go for it again. Prism is the same level as Ezio, so still has that opportunity to steal it away. I think it's a second steal. It's gonna be insane. Yeah. He definitely can. They just need to not get too greedy trying to clear out these wards because they could definitely lose, lose somebody here. And very well if they lose and and they lose at least like three people. Yeah. Could easily be game. Yeah, fifteen gonna get caught. Should be falling <laughs> here. That ult oh, kind of made it look decent for him. 
But actually in the back lane, Lissandra dives a little bit deep, able to pick up one kill at least, but they're still able to chase forward. Has so much move speed out of the Singed and the Vi. It means Zach's going to go down as well. Teleport, not going to save him for long. He falls down, Neon Fire flashes over the wall. One auto attack, half health, Hawu. Oh, and it should and be them cleaning up, getting the ace. Sonic Abs, the last alive, trying to run for his life, but he's going to fall down to Bard. They're going to definitely get that inhib. Inhib. Don't know if they can get game with Fizz being no. up in 10, but they're going to certainly try moving up on to the Nexus Towers. This one's already really low. Goes down now. Vi with Triforce can definitely take these fast. They just need to start doing it quick. Rakan is up. Fizz is as well. So just going to take the Nexus Towers and leave. What a fight. Picking off the Fizz. Yeah. And it's what I was talking about, getting it a little bit too greedy for the vision. They got caught. Lots of engage, lots of CC coming out from Battlecast means there's always going to be one person that probably gets caught out and dies in these fights. And having to be Fizz, not making it feel very good. Elder is up, going into the hands of Battlecast for the time being. There's not even any pings from TPR. Then they're probably going to go straight to Baron. Yep. Yeah, four sack Elder, there's no way a TPR fights this. Unless they get like a crazy pick, which they might actually. They're looking for it. They do find Neon Fire. He's going to go down the Bartle. Catches two, but not going to save the life of his AD carry. Now as they go back in, Lissandra finds her way. Is she able to get the Frozen Tomb? Two people down already. Zach, the last one alive in the fight. As Zaya does show up, but still forced to kite away. Lots of damage onto Business Trooper. He might be able to get it if he gets the Stretching Strikes. But it doesn't happen. Prism going to fall down. Two Vi's. He's going to run for it. Try and get the Zaya. But I think the Blade Caller is going to be enough to save his life. But will it save the game? Only two alive right now. Oh my god. The Vi ult actually hit in range and he gets the kill. <laughs> no way. That is crazy. Battlecast with a four stack Elder. Going to be taking the game versus TPR. Going up 2-1. And definitely helping them out in the standings, taking the set in a very back and forth manner. It went over twenty-five. It went over thirty-five. It did. <laughs> yep, I was just about to go over and do that. All right, was a good game. Dinner's very entertaining to watch. Yeah, for sure. Oops. Yeah, that was uh, definitely really good. You gotta go. Um. I mean, I can stay for the po the post game interview. Up to you. Well, I mean, I'm down too. All right. Yeah, wasn't sure if you were being heralded. Um, who do you think MVP though? I wanna say that it was a uh, business trooper for that game. Yeah. Um, business think trooper or again Jin. I, really think, strong on the singe. I think either Biz Trooper or Andy, because Andy was landing a lot of really good ults and that a lot true. of really good stuns. Um, but I think Business Trooper for that game. Um, Who do you think is the MVP of the, of the set? set? Um, probably Biz as a whole. I think he did really well set one. Um, mm -hmm. Or game one, I mean. And he did pretty well last game, too, if I remember. I'm trying to remember last game. I already forget things. Uh, but no, I, I think a business trooper probably deserves MVP this game. Or this set. Alright. I'm fine with that. I'll message him and see if I can pull him in here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and move him in here. Hello, business trooper. Hello. Hello there. Bro, that was a that was a set right there. That was a set. That was one hell of a set. Oh, it's close. <laughs> Very close. How? Oh, I gotta fucking mute myself on the, on the stream because I'm getting the echo now. Yeah, that'll that'll kill you. 
how does it feel going up versus uh, TPR again? Because you guys beat them last time you met as well, right? Back in, like, what was that, week two, week three? Yeah, they're like, I was thinking about it during the game, and they're like, you ever played Pokemon, and then, like, you have your rival who's like, <laughs> yeah, we're going to beat you. Like, they got the upset. They're like, oh, man, they got some new shit this time. They got, like, the new, they got all these new players and shit. And we're just kind of like, ooh, man, 15 Virgin is, like, Pretty good in lane. He was he was spooking me on that Irelia last game, but we we prevailed because we're the main character. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to look at it. Yeah, you, you got Anton coming out of the corner. I don't remember any of their names. I'm just gonna call him Anton, and he's just like, "Hey, you want to fight?" Right. He's like, "Smell you later, Gramps." <laughs> he's got he's got new Pokemon's every time, but still able to get out the win. Really nice job. We got to see you on the Lissandra and the Morgana. <laughs> Man, the. I felt really bad that Morg game. Like, into the Irelia, I thought it wasn't going to be too bad, but, like, you called the, if I miss a bind, I'm pretty much kind of done much. so. Yeah. Because just Irelia's, the, the stun, like, is super wide. It way is. Way wider than what it looks like. It, yeah. So. It looks like a little toothpick, and then it covers, like, the whole darn lane. Right, right. That's a super, that's a big oof right there, so. Yeah, coming through... Um, I finally got to play Liss on stream, though. You did. That was going to be How my next question. Oh, it felt so good. And then to just show up with 12 kills. Oh, and then the solo kill on Fizz at one point felt super good. Yeah. Yeah. How, how did you feel when he got the first blow on you with that fish? Bro, thing? I was so, so salty off of that shit. I was, that did like 300 damage at level <laughs> one. What is that? Yeah, I, I saw I was like, what? He has no items. Bro, How does I that do that much damage? I audibly yelled, what? I was like, wait, whoa! Like, <laughs> there's no way I should be dead right now. That's understandable. I was I was just as surprised. Um, it was a, what, what was surprising to me was you got him so low, and, like, he was... He stayed in lane with 200 health for, like, three minutes straight, got ult, know, and just one-shotted you with it. This is like... so, so sad. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> right. Like, but, big shout-out, though, to Ezio and Jin. Showing up big, like we like adrenaline now has to work all the time. So right. these are like our analysts. So I was like really trying to find some reliable people. Found these dudes last week, tried them out. They are like super solid and like they mesh really well with the team. That's good. And I'm super glad to have them here. Yeah, I remember seeing Na Yoon Jing's name around last season, but I don't think he played for any team, and I don't remember where I saw him, but I, I recognize the name. I'm glad he's playing a lot, lot better this week than he was last week, because he seemed pretty um, yeah, I mean, off-kilter really last week. To, yeah, they hadn't really gotten to play together too much last week, and yeah. I had to go up north and shit, so I didn't get to play. Super bummed. Yeah, but good job. You uh, guys are now... Tomorrow... Amped. How are you guys feeling going into the match? I mean, this will be my first time against Amped, I think. So you didn't I'm play in the rematch? Nah, er, maybe I did. I don't remember. So. Well. Looking forward to it. Okay. Yeah. It should be a good set. It's Amped are, Amped are the team to beat. Um, 7 0. Oh. Yep. Yikes. You guys are now. Tied with TPR because you did your rematch versus Goo Factory yesterday, so the, the stands on site are just a little bit off. You're now tied with TPR. Um, we'll see if DOV can tie you guys as well, so we might have a three-way tie for third place. Sounds fine to me. That'll be really interesting to see. Um, cause that that would be that'd be fun. I, I I like seeing ties. It's just like, oh man, who's gonna win? <laughs> a three-way tie for first. Yeah. But it's not going to matter because we're the main characters. We're going to come out on top anyway. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for coming in, Business Trooper. We're 30 minutes no late for our set already, so I'm yeah, going to no. rush off and try to start that. Thanks for coming in. Congrats All on right. the 2-1. Thanks for having me. Yep. All right. See you later. Adios. All right. Then you're going to be swapping me out for... I'm going to try well. and get DHJ in here. Got to right. test out some more casters. Thanks for coming in, Maniac. Appreciate it. Thanks, thanks for having me. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to try out. It was yeah. a, it was a pleasure. No problem, man. Adios. See you later. All right. Now I gotta start up this lobby, huh? Gonna get.
get the goo factory in here. Let's go ahead and invite us some. Who even copycat? Let's get copycat. I know him. 